that in the next uh, 30 minutes or so. Sports Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed has now disclosed that they were given 498 million shillings to construct the Jomo Kenyatta International Stadium in Kisumu City that will be the venue of this year's Madaraka Day celebrations. Now she spoke amid conflicting figures doing rounds in the social media discussed over the total costs allocated for that project. Many Kenyans, many of you have mocked the current appearance of that stadium compared to the initial artistic impression after completion. Willie Lusige was there. On January 10th, President Kenyatta, accompanied by former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, the Evolution CS Eugene Wamalo and Chief of Defense Forces General Robert Kibochi, inspected a number of projects including the Kenyan shillings 415 million, Jomo Kenyatta Stadium in Mamboleo that was still under construction. But the memories of the beautiful artistic impression of the international stadium in a region that loves class and fancy things have been awoken by images of the current state of the stadium with netizens mocking the state of the stadium that will host this year's Madaraka celebrations to be held on 1st of June. Most of them comparing it to Buhongo Stadium that hosted 2018 Mashujadi. On Wednesday, sports CS Yamina Mohammed disclosed that 498 million shillings was allocated for the project, the cause of the stadium being a major subject in the social media. I'm very, very happy. Within uh, the seven months we were given, we have delivered a world-class international stadium. Uh, that can host up to 30,000 spectators. Although the CS revealed that some of the construction works will not be completed by June 1st, Amina Mohammed was happy with the progress so far. That has one of the biggest uh, pavilions ever. That has eight lounges. That can actually seat 600 cars in the park. The CS told critics to appreciate the work done in a record of seven months, as was directed by President Uhuru Kenyatta. It's like you moving into a new house, yeah? and seeing what the, some of the challenges are. So uh, this gives us a fantastic rehearsal, actually, uh, for this facility. Amina has urged residents and Kenyans in general to be patient as works continue. She added that improvements will be made at a later date. For the next few months, we'll be improving it. We'll be seeing whether there are any issues that need to be, to be addressed. So I'm very, very uh, uh, sure that when Gore and FC uh, uh, wish to play in future, they will only choose uh, to play here, uh, in the home ground. Because I think they'll have a better facility here uh, than most other places. Willis Gekete News. Well, the joke I liked about this is what you ordered versus what you were given or what you received. Let's go to that sad news, very close to our hearts. Many of us, including me, and I'll tell you why after this sad